Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will talk about voltage doublers. With this kind of circuits, you take an AC voltage at the input, and then at the output of the voltage doubler, you obtain, of course, double the voltage, which is DC. So the circuits convert AC to DC at double the input voltage. We will see the types of voltage doublers half wave and full wave, how uh, they are made and we will see them in operation using the oscilloscope. The simplest voltage doubler that you can build has only two diodes and two capacitors connected as in the diagram. Very easy to make. At this point you apply an alternating current, voltage U, and at this point you get double that voltage but it is DC let's now see how it works next time you need a PCB for your electronics project consider using the professional services of JLC PCB JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication you can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. As an AC power supply, I will use this transformer. It's a 12 volt transformer with center tap. That is, between the red wires, we have 12 volts, and between one red wire and the center tap, the black wire, we have 6 volts. So I will apply 6 volts AC to the voltage multiplier. Let me connect. And I'm going to connect a load to the output of the multiplier. A simple resistor, 27 ohms. Okay, and now let's check the voltages with the multimeter. The multimeter is in AC and the input in the multiplier reads 6.2 volts. Now let's move to DC and check the output voltage at the resistor. And we can see that it is... Uh, 11.4 volts, almost double the input voltage. The output of the multiplier is not exactly double the input voltage because it depends on the current that we demand from the multiplier. If we need, if we try to obtain a large current, the voltage will drop. In fact, if we check the output voltage without a load, without the resistor connected, we can see that we have more than 19 volts. And this voltage starts to drop as we demand more current from the output of the multiplier. The maximum current that we can obtain from the multiplier depends on the power of our power supply. So the product of the voltage times the current in the output of the multiplier, that is the watts, must be equal or less than the power of our source. And also you need capacitors of a value large enough so that they can handle that current. If we use small capacitors, we will obtain small currents. As an example, here I have this voltage doubler which has capacitors of 4700 microfarads and the output goes to this incandescent lamp and let's test the voltage at the output of the multiplier. We can see that is 9.5 volts. Now let's change 
this multiplier with this other one, the first that we use, which has capacitors of 2200 microfarads. That is about half the value of the first capacitors. So let's connect and also check the output voltage. And we can see that is 8 volts. So the voltage is lower because the multiplier cannot produce enough current that the lamp demands and the voltage drops. So this voltage doubler is very simple and works. However, it has the disadvantage that it only rectifies half wave, as we will see now in the oscilloscope. You can see the waveform is only half wave rectification, but we can add just two more diodes and capacitors and obtain a voltage doubler with full wave rectification. And here's the diagram. As you can see, we have two half wave voltage doublers facing each other. They are sharing the central capacitor. At these three points, we connect the output of our transformer with center tap, and in these two points, we obtain the doublet voltage, which is DC. Here is the, uh, the circuit, three capacitors, four diodes. Let's now see the circuit working. Okay, let's see. So here's our transformer. The two yellow wires are the, the two sides of the secondary and the black one is the center tap. So let me first connect only half of the voltage doubler, which is uh, the same as in the previous case. So I'm going to put here the center tap and here the other side of the secondary of the transformer. And let me connect uh, the resistor to the output, which is our load. And then using the oscilloscope, let's check the waveform at the output. Okay, let's see. So there it is, the same as in the previous case, because we are using the same circuit, which is half of the full voltage doubler. But now let's use the full rectifier, connecting the other side of the transformer to this point. And you can see the difference in the output voltage. You can see double the, the ripple and we have a more stable output. The waveform is more flat. Half wave rectification and full wave. It is important to mention that you can continue this kind of circuits you add more stages in order to obtain not only double the input voltage, but 4, 8, 10 times the input voltage. Of course, the current decreases as we increase the output voltage. If you are interested in the theory of operation, I give you a link in the description to another video where I explain how this kind of circuits work. In this case, for example, we add a second stage and we obtain a voltage quadrupler. So we have four times the input voltage. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. 
Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.